I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Article 4. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video sh Short. Justification. Our churches teach that people cannot be justified before God by their own strength, merits, or works. People are freely justified for Christ's sake through faith when they believe that they are received into favor and that their sins are forgiven for Christ's sake. By his death, Christ made satisfaction for our sins. God counts this faith as righteousness in his sight. This is it. This is the article upon which the church stands or falls. This is it. The article upon which uh, the church stands or falls is not the third use of the law. It's not, um, have you made a decision for Christ? It's not, um, uh, have you made Jesus the Lord of your life? The article upon which the church stands or falls is how does man stand before God? Not by his own reason or strength, which is against everything that was taught in the Roman church at this time, where they taught, where they were taught, we remember in, in article two, to do what was in them. That God's not going to hold it against you if you do the best that you can. And here the confessors at Augsburg said, no, no, we can't do what we can. We cannot be justified before God. We cannot be made righteous. We cannot be saved by what we, by our own strength, merits, our works. People are freely justified for Christ's sake by faith. When they believe that they are received into favor and that their sins are forgiven for Christ's sake. Justified for Christ's sake, received into favor for Christ's sake. See, to say that that justification is the article upon which the church stands or falls is to say that Christ is the foundation of everything in Christianity. That apart from Christ, we cannot be saved. For everything about Article 4 rests upon the suffering and death of Christ. His holy life counts for our not holy lives. His suffering and death is the punishment for our sins and the sins of the whole world. God counts Jesus' faith and his faithfulness is our righteousness before God. And the article uh, is so clear and wonderfully worded that you are saved when you believe that Jesus died and rose again for you. That that objective reality is made personal to you through, through the word which enlivens you to faith. God counts this faith, your faith, as righteousness before his sight, just as he did with Abraham. Abraham believed God. It was credited to him as righteousness. And this is, this is not something that the Lutherans made up. This, is, this was taught always and everywhere in the church that man can't save themselves. Only Jesus saves. And he saves by grace alone. That is by his cross alone. That is by faith alone. Apart from what we do. What we do only messes up the issue. What Christ did for us, that counts for sure. Believing in Jesus, you must be saved. Does this mean you can live however you want? You mean like the way you live normally? I, I'm convinced that when somebody asks that, it's because they want to live or they're trying to live um, any way they want. They see in their neighbor sins and they're like, oh, well, you know, I, I, I could do this. Or... And that's the sound of a Pharisee. It really is. The, the person who is justified by faith alone looks at their life and goes, I can't, ugh, I can't save myself. Thank God Jesus saves me. I want to do good. And I don't do good, but he rescues me. He saves me by faith alone. And this is not without repentance on my part. I repent every day, daily and much, but my repentance holds no good unless there's a loving God who sends his son to absolve me. Slavery. That's what living in your sins is all about. You're not free. To be freed from your sins is to be freed from the need to do these sins. Does that mean that you're not going to fall into sin again after you receive grace? Well, of course you are. But there is a place for forgiveness and life and salvation. And it's located in the suffering and death of Christ. This is an article for the comfort of troubled consciences. That's really what Lutheranism is all about. Lutheranism is not all not about living the way you want to live. Ugh. Lutheranism is about when you have 
a twang of conscience, when you realize that you can't forgive or you can't earn your forgiveness, when you get in your mind that your good works are filthy used tampons before God, menstrual rags, ugh. The only hope you have is not pulling your bootstraps up and making some decision for God. The only hope you have is that God has mercy in the suffering and death of Christ. And that, that mercy and that forgiveness saves. To be by, saved by faith alone is to be saved by grace alone. Without any merit or worthiness in you, it's not 99% Jesus and 1% you. It's 100% Jesus. Or else I'm lost. Our churches teach that man cannot be justified before God by their own strength, merits, or works. People are justified for Christ's sake through faith when they believe that they are received into favor and that their sins are forgiven for Christ's sake. God counts this faith for righteousness in his sight. Faith is the very righteousness for by which we are counted righteous before God. But this article, Article 4, which, stand, which flows from Article 3, does you no good without Article 5. And we'll talk about that tomorrow. I'm Pastor George Borkhardt, and this has been another Higher Things video short.